So hello and welcome to my newest video. Uh, I thought I'd switch things up a little and, and talk about one of my favorite novels. I, I'd say that, I, I used to say for a long time that this was my favorite novel and you know, I've read a lot since then and I still occasionally come back to this. It's The Magus by John Fowles. And I was introduced to this book by my advisor in graduate school who thought that my writing reminded him a lot of this book. And after reading it, I thought, wow, that's a really good compliment. And, you know, it's been years since then, and I haven't really achieved John Fowles's stature, stature as a writer but you never know. So uh, the Magus is about uh, a young arrogant man named Nicholas who is in, in London in the 1950s. His parents have died in an air crash and he's been on his own. And he thinks he is the world's smartest man he is, uh, he thinks he is the most intellectual guy out there, and he's quite a player. He just isn't able to commit to any woman, and it's always about himself. And then one day he gets the chance to teach English at a private boys' school on a Greek island, and then he leaves. But he also, in the process, tries to cut off everything in his past, including a relationship with uh, a, a young, uh, lively woman named Allison. And I don't want to give away the plot, but e e even though this is, um, what, more than 700 pages, it, it reads really fast. And, and it and it's, has many aspects of literature and symbolism, but it's done in the form of a thriller. So that it, it, the first time I read it, I was on fire and I was just turning the pages, turning the pages, just trying to see how this was going to end. And, and you'll never get that same feeling when you read it again, but I always like to go back every once in a while just to absorb John Fowles' writing. So I thought that I would read a passage, probably, uh, I'll just open up to where uh, this bookmark is. And so, let's see. And maybe I'll skip ahead. The absence of the usually unfailing sun wind made the next Saturday oppressively hot. The cicadas had begun. They racketed in a ragged chorus, never quite finding a common beat, rasping one's nerves, but finally so familiar that when one day they stopped in a rare shower of rain, the silence was like an explosion. They completely changed the character of the pine forest now it was live and multitudinous, an audible, invisible hive of energy with all its pure solitude gone. For besides the tzikia, the air throbbed, whined, hummed with carmine-winged grasshoppers, locusts, huge hornets, bees, midges, bots, and 10,000 another anonymous insects. In some places, there were nagging clouds of black flies, so that I climbed through the trees like a new Orestes, cursing and slapping." So I think in this part of the book, um, Nicholas is on the island. He finds it sort of boring because it's, it's a very isolated place. The school is tougher than he's finding. Uh, the boys aren't really into English literature, they're more into learning about how um, a car works in English. So he, it, he finds it's beneath him to reach out to them 
according to their own interests. And uh, most of the teachers there don't speak much English. And, and so he starts roaming around the island and he feels like he's the first man in this place. And, and eventually he's going to meet up with uh, a, a very strange, compelling old man who is a, a millionaire. His name is Conscious. And it's very symbolic that Conscious's last name is pronounced like Conscious because he develops, Nicholas develops a, a relationship with Conscious in that a, a strange mind game starts to develop. And it, it, it's sort of on the line between uh, a, a con job and also something deeply mythical is going on. So I, I, you know, we'll let it go here, but I encourage you to read this. Or if you have read it, let me know in the comments uh, how you liked the book or if you didn't like the book. And I look forward to hearing from you. And Benjamin, if you are listening, uh, I hope you're feeling better and I hope that I can see you soon in Tai Chi. Bye.